In this video, we will explore the tabs and menu items that you will use to record narrations. Then we'll explore the recording interface and annotation options. Thereafter, we'll record some narrations and video and then review those recordings. To start off, I'd like to introduce you to the slides I've got here. My first slide is a slide that introduces the topic. Then I've got a slide that I plan to use to introduce myself. I then have a typical content slide with bullet points and I've applied some animation to these so that they appear one after the other when I click on the slide. I also have a slide with a video clip on the subject of solar power and finally a slide with my contact details. Typically, when you need to record narrations and video recordings into your PowerPoint slideshow, you would come to your slideshow tab and then go to, for example, record slideshow. And then once you've recorded your narrations, you'd go to file and then go to export and then pick create video. And when you needed to insert, let's say, things like a video, audio or a screen recording for that matter, you'd be coming into your insert tab and so on and so forth. I'd like to introduce you to a new tab or rather a tab that's been around for a while that you may or may not be aware of. And that is the recordings tab. And I'll show you how to get there. You can simply right click on any existing tab and pick customize the ribbon. Ensure or that you're on the customize ribbon option, then come over to the right column here and locate the recording tab option and ensure that it is ticked and then click OK. And you will then find that you have access to a new tab. And if you click on that tab, you will see that the record slideshow option is available there as well. You have a screenshot option, you have a screen recording option, insert video and audio, and also finally the export to video option. They are all available on the one tab. And I thought that this is pretty useful, especially you know, with regards to the process that we are currently going through, which is the narrating your PowerPoint. Uh, but remember, you do not necessarily have to get this recording tab going. All the options that we're seeing here are available across uh, tabs like the slideshow and insert tabs. And also finally, you could go to your file, export, and then go to create video uh, if you did not have the recording tab active. Now let's explore the recording interface. If I was on the recording tab, I could go to record slideshow here, or if I did not have the recording tab going, I could go to slideshow and then come to record slideshow here. And you'll find that if you were to hit that little drop down arrow, you have the option of recording from the current slide or recording from the beginning. I am currently in my first slide, so it wouldn't make too much of a difference if I picked either of these. I'm going to pick record from current slide. So here we are in the recording interface. Let's explore the options available to you. First off, top left, we have the record button. And when you click on this, there will be a countdown that appears in the center of the screen. And when the countdown completes, you can start narrating. Next off, we've got a stop button here, which will obviously stop the recording. Incidentally, when you click on the record button, that changes to a pause button. And then whilst you're recording, if for whatever reason you needed to pause, for example, if you needed to clear your throat, you could hit the pause, do whatever is necessary, and then click the pause again, and your recording will resume from where you stopped. The gap of the pause will not be recorded. So that's a handy feature. Here you have a replay button to review your recordings. Here in the center of the screen, we have the notes option, which is quite handy. You can add notes here that can be used in a similar way that you would use a teleprompter because it's in the center of the screen. And more often than not, webcams are also located in the center of a screen, especially in laptops. So I would recommend if you were using an external webcam that you position it uh, at the top center of the screen so that if and when you did read your notes, it wouldn't appear like you were looking away from the camera. It would appear that you're looking down the barrel of the camera and that way you get better, uh, better interaction with your students. You'll also notice you have the option of making your notes text larger or smaller here, which is quite useful as well. Moving on over here, we have the clear button, which allows you to clear the recording on the current slide or clear recordings on all slides. This is once you've reviewed your recordings, if for whatever reason you needed to re-record either a single slide or all your slides, you could use this option here. Next, we have 
the multimedia options this is when you plugged in your microphone this is where you'd come in to select your microphone and your webcam over here you have a advanced to the next slide button on the right and here right opposite you have the return to the previous slide button here which you can use to navigate between slides coming down here you have the option to mute your microphone to turn it on and off uh, the next button there is where you would activate or deactivate your camera. If I was to click on this, for example, you'll find that my camera has now disappeared, so which means we're not recording video. I'll activate that once again, which means we are recording video. The last button there is where, when you're recording video, you can decide whether you wanted to have this preview window appear here. If you did not want the preview window to appear there, you could simply click turn off preview button there, which would hide the video window, but you are still recording video. So if you did not want to record video, you have to make sure to click on the camera icon and ensure that it has a slash across it. Over here, we have some very interesting annotation tools. You have a pen option, you have a highlighter option. You can pick either of these and then simply click on one of the colors here and then come over here and then use those annotation tools accordingly. You also have the option of an eraser and you can click on the eraser and then click on any annotation that you've already made to erase it. Now I'd like to remind you that all annotations and erasures thereof are recorded as part of your video recording. Lastly, we have two timers here. The first timer gives you the duration of your recording on the current slide. The second timer gives you the duration of your recordings on all slides. So for example, if you've recorded three slides, it would give you the collective duration of the recordings on those slides. One last little tip that I'd like to cover before we actually started recording is that A, when you do hit the record button, you need to wait till the countdown completes in the center of the screen to start recording. B, I've found this to be a little bit of an issue on my computer and you may not face this on your laptop or computer. That is that I have to wait till this particular counter actually starts rolling as well before I start talking because even though the countdown is complete, I've found that this counter takes about a second longer to start and if I'd started narrating before this counter started rolling I might find certain words getting clipped off at the beginning so you may not have that issue but I would suggest that you test that out. Let's now explore adding narrations and video recordings. Just a heads up that I will every now and then make a few mistakes so that I can show you later on how you can actually edit those mistakes out. Now for this particular slide, all I'm doing is narrating the headline here, which is understanding solar power. And for that, I won't need to record video. So what I'm going to do is simply click on my camera icon here till that is switched off. So now I'm not recording video, but I am recording audio. So let's go ahead and click on the record button. Understanding, <clears throat> understanding solar power. So there you go, that's all I needed to say, uh, but I'm just adding in a bit of audio here so that I can edit it out later. I've just hit the stop button, so you'll see that as soon as you've finished a recording that it will show up here. You've got a little audio symbol here, and if I had recorded video as well, there would be a little video window showing up here, and I could click on this little speaker icon to have the audio playback, or I could click on the replay button. So let's just click the replay button this time around. Understanding, <clears throat> understanding solar power. So there you go, that's all I need. There you go, so the recording's all good. What we'll do now is we'll move over to the next slide. So to do that, I'll simply click this advanced to next slide button. Okay, so here is the introduction slide. So this is where I wanted to add a little video of myself. So to do that, I'm going to first off turn on the camera. That brings the camera back on and here you go. I'm going to use my notes this time round. I'm going to make them a little larger and I'm going to read out the text that I've inserted here. So first off, let me hit the record button. Hi, 
I'm Kevin and I'll be your teacher this semester. So if you have any queries, don't hesitate to get in touch with me. There you go, so the recording's done. The recording shows up here, so as I said before, you can hit the replay button or click on the media asset here. Hi, I'm Kevin and I'll be your teacher this semester. So if you have any queries, don't hesitate to get in touch with me. All good, so we can now move on to the next slide. So just a reminder that this slide has two bullet points and I've added a bit of animation to these bullet points where when I start recording these two bullet points are going to disappear and they'll appear one after the other as I click on the slide. So first off I don't need video here I'm going to click on the camera icon to turn my camera off so I don't have any notes here so I'm just going to minimize that and then hit the record button. What is solar power? Let's explore this. Energy created by the heat and light of the sun is called solar energy. Now students, I'd like you to make note that it is energy created by the heat and light of the sun that is referred to or called solar energy. Let's move along. Solar power is produced when energy from the sun is converted into electricity or used to heat air, water or other substances. So there you go for everyone watching. I hope you noticed that I actually reached out for my highlighter tool here, picked a color and then I reached out and I highlighted heat and light. So we will later on see that that has been recorded as part of my recording. I will now hit the stop button. So that slide's done as well and there's the little audio speaker icon to indicate that the recording has been successful. I'm not going to review this recording at this stage, I'm simply going to move on to the next slide. In this slide I don't want to add any narration because there is already a video file there which I want the students to watch as part of this presentation. If you did have any instructions to the students about this video itself, I would recommend that you put those instructions in a previous slide or a subsequent slide because if you did end up having two media assets on the same slide, that could cause some complications when you're exporting it to video. Let's now move on to the last slide. And this slide I'm not going to add any narration because it's just simply my contact details and I would prefer to leave it without a narration. So that's it, we've now added narration to the slides that we wanted to add narration to. I'll quickly remind you that if at any stage you wanted to clear any recordings, you can clear recordings on all slides or go back to a particular slide that you wanted to review or redo the narration. You could click the clear button here and pick clear recordings on current slide or clear recordings on all slides. Now you may have noticed that I narrated one slide at a time, that is I hit the record button, I narrate a slide and then I hit the stop button and then I hit the advance to the next slide button and so on and so forth. But if you preferred you could actually narrate several slides at a time, that is I could hit the record button here, narrate this slide, then hit the advance to the next slide button, narrate the next slide and so on and so forth and I could continue narrating and recording till I've covered all the slides that I wanted to. There is one important thing to remember though, that is that you must not narrate whilst transitioning to another slide. You must always finish narrating a slide that you're on, hit the advance to the next slide button and then start narrating again. Because if you did narrate whilst transitioning from one slide to another, there is a good possibility that you will lose parts of your recording. To exit this recording interface, you could simply hit the escape key or click on the little X top right corner here.